go shawty, it's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. Because it's my birthday. Oh yes, it's my birthday. It's my birthday, happy birthday to me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for an extra special video because today is actually my birthday. And I love my birthday. I know some people are really sad that they're getting older and they don't really like the attention and stuff. But to me, my birthday means I get to invite all of my friends and my family and hang out with them and we all come together and just have a great time. And since it is my birthday and I'm turning 22 today, I thought I would make a video about 22 things that I want to do while I'm 22. And this is something that I thought of while kind of going through my bucket list. I realized that there's so many things that I've been meaning to do and I have on my to-do list and I just kind of keep putting them off. So I thought I'm gonna make a list of things that I actually wanna do and make a video about it so I can hold myself accountable for it. So I have a little list with me and these things are in no particular order. I just wrote them down in the way I kind of thought of them. So here we go with 22 things. I want to do while I'm 22. So the first thing on the list is something travel related and it is go to a country that I've never been to before. Now I have a bunch of travel plans for the upcoming year but I don't think any of them involve going to a country that I haven't been to so far but technically there's a couple of countries in even in Europe that I haven't been to. Any of the Scandinavian countries like Sweden, Norway, Finland which is quite embarrassing to say because it's not really that far away but I guess I'll just have to plan like a little weekend get away to maybe Stockholm or Oslo that would be pretty cool and that actually goes perfectly with my next thing which is go to a capital that I've never been to before because I thought going to a country doesn't necessarily have to mean going to a capital that I've never been to before again Oslo would be one of them or Stockholm that would just be really cool so yeah definitely gonna do that number three is something that has been on my to-do list for the longest time and I just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it off and it's sort all of my photos and make photo albums. Now I'm the kind of person that never follows through with anything because I actually printed out a ton of photos from the past few years already and sorted them by date, like categorized them everything, I just never glued them into the album. I have the album right behind me as well as the photos but for some reason I never make the time to glue the photos into the album but now it's on my bucket list it's gonna happen. Number four is make a bullet journal. Now this is again something that I've been meaning to do for a long time. I saw some videos on YouTube and completely fell in love with the whole idea of making a bullet journal and I've been getting really into online notebooks and stuff and I thought a bullet journal would be a really cool idea to kind of work on my sketching and layouts and find like a little creative outlet while still being very organized. Number five is dye my hair a fun color. Now I've dyed my hair a couple of times in my life. I went a bit lighter and a bit darker and I even had red hair for a year and sometimes I really miss having my red hair but I feel like I want to try out maybe a bit more of a brighter fun color. Maybe in the ends of my hair and do a little fun colored ombre with maybe blue or maybe turquoise. We'll see. Number six is throw an epic birthday party, which is kind of funny because now I'm actually throwing a party for myself tonight. I invited a ton of friends, I bought some alcohol, and I made a cool playlist, and I hope everyone is in a good mood because I'm in a good mood and I'm ready to have a good time. So I hope everyone else is, and we'll just have to make it an epic birthday party. And we'll definitely play 22 by Taylor Swift because that's just kind of a given. Number seven is go surfing again. Now I went surfing once in my life. It was on Long Island and I completely fell in love with it. Although I was falling off the board quite a lot, I guess because it's my first time, but I think I wasn't doing too bad and I still really liked it. So now I'm just excited to see what my second go is gonna look like and I can't wait to ride some waves again. As the cool people would say, that was just so uncool. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Number eight, take up a new language. There's a fly. No, 
hello, excuse me. Number eight is pick up a new language. And I don't mean I'm gonna learn an entire language because I just think that's really unrealistic. With everything that I have going on in my life, I just, I know I won't pick up an entire language within a year. I think I'm gonna go for Spanish because I think it's a very beautiful language. I have a couple of friends from Mexico who speak Spanish around me all the time. And I just think it sounds really nice. So I wanna pick up Spanish again and learn some words so I actually understand what they're saying because who knows what they're saying behind my back I wouldn't know <laughs> I'm sure they're just really nice my friends are like really sweet they're not saying anything mean I hope number nine go on a fun road trip with my friends I love road trips I love hanging out with my friends I've been on a couple of really epic road trips in my life and I feel like next year in the summertime it needs to happen again and I need to find a few friends and just Go on an epic road trip again. Number 10, start a new hobby. That again might sound a bit excessive, but I just mean that I wanna try out a few more things. Maybe there's something that I don't even know is a thing and I really like it. Or maybe I just need to find something that I'm already kind of casually doing and just start doing it more often. I don't know, I feel like there's still, I could dedicate more time to something and just make it a hobby. Number 11, attend a pride parade. is something that I was actually looking forward to doing this year, but sadly, the day that Berlin Pride happened, I was cramped behind my desk and I had a ton of uni things to do. It was a beautiful day and I was so sad that I couldn't go to pride parade because I really wanted to. So next year, I'm planning on going to either Berlin Pride or some kind of other pride festival and show my support. Number 12, go to a karaoke bar with friends. It's something that I say all the time, but then we never do. We never actually go to the karaoke bar. It's such an easy thing to do. You just need to gather a couple of friends and be like, let's go to a karaoke bar. What's so hard? Why can I never do that? Number 13, try pole dancing. It looks really, really fun. It also is probably very, very hard and I think I'm gonna be a lot worse than I think I am, but I wanna try it out. It looks really fun and I think it's really gonna work a muscle. I don't know, like, haven't you always been wanting to try out pole dancing? It looks like a cool sport, right? Number 14, watch 50 movies within this year. Now this is definitely doable. The year has 52 weeks. That means it's about one uh, movie a week, which is totally doable. And I don't mean any like random movies. I'm just gonna count the ones from um, the DVD list that my professor sent me with like really relevant movies for being like a filmmaker and being in the industry. The Oscar nominees from the past few years that I still have so many that I haven't seen yet, which is really embarrassing as a film student. And just a bucket list that I have put together myself over the past few months, weeks, years, I guess. So I'm just gonna cross off movies of that list, but I still think I can do it. Watching 50 movies is possible. And just in case those 50 movies don't cover all of the nominees for the Oscars 2017, I made in an extra point for my number, what are we on? 15, to watch all of the Oscar nominated movies, preferably before the Oscars happen, but let's, let's not push it. Number 16, get a tattoo. A Hannah tattoo. I don't wanna commit to getting a tattoo. I'm not saying that I'm never gonna get one. I possibly will get one in the future, but I'm not really set on a like certain design yet. I have a few ideas that I'm still like working on, but I don't wanna commit to like getting a tattoo next year, but I at least wanna get a henna tattoo because that's something that I've been meaning to do for a long time as well. Number 17, be vegan for at least a week, maybe a month if I can do that. I've done a couple of vegan weeks in the past over the last few years and whenever I do them, I feel so good because I actually really focus on what I eat and I try to eat as clean as possible and just really take time to prepare my food and I always feel so good and I know that technically you should always do that and make it your entire lifestyle to like really be conscious of what you're eating. I can't really do that or I can't seem to do that so I want to try at least having another vegan week or maybe possibly a vegan month. Not to say that eating vegan is necessarily really healthy because you can be super unhealthy being a vegan but what I mean is like the healthy side of being a vegan and actually trying to eat well. Number 18, make a gingerbread house. Pretty easy, Christmas is coming up. I'm in the spirit, I'm gonna decorate as soon as I get home from my weekend at home celebrating with my family. I'm gonna whip out my Christmas decor and like decorate this entire place 
and slather it in tinsel and everything Christmas related. My poor roommates. Well, I love Christmas, what can I say? But making a gingerbread house is something that I haven't done in the past few years and I just really wanna make a gingerbread house again and feel like a five-year-old. Number 19 ride a unicycle. When I was younger, I had a unicycle and I loved it so, so much. I was actually getting quite good at it. It was at the point where I learned how to like get up on it and then start driving without having to like hold on to something. But I kind of grew out of my unicycle and I never repurchased um, one that fit me. So then I just never really rode a unicycle again and I haven't done that in so long. I don't even know if I can still do it, but I feel like I should try. If you live in Berlin and you happen to have a unicycle, let me know. Number 20 is such a cliche as a German especially, and that's going to Oktoberfest, the real deal, the one in Munich. I've never been, now I even have a friend who lives in Munich, and I haven't even visited her there yet, which is very bad, I'm a terrible friend. I really wanted to go when I was younger, now I'm old enough to go, and I'm kind of like, yeah, not really that, like drawn to it anymore, but I feel like it's something that you should do. If you have the opportunity to go, why not take it? So next year, I'm going to Oktoberfest. Number 21, we're getting close to the end here, going up the Eiffel Tower. I can't believe that I haven't been up the Eiffel Tower because I've been to Paris a few times and I've stood underneath the Eiffel Tower, but for some reason I never actually went up to the Eiffel Tower. I think one time we just didn't have enough time to go and then the other time I went with people that had already been up and just really didn't want to do that again. So now I've been to Paris a couple of times and I've never been up the Eiffel Tower. And for my last one, I chose something very important and meaningful but at the same time it's something that's technically really easy I just have never done it and I don't understand why I'm really mad at myself that I've never tried it and that is giving blood I am a healthy human being I'm 22 I'm young I could be helping someone by giving blood and I've never done it in the past but I really want to do it in the future it's such an important thing if you are old enough and if you're healthy if you're able to go and give blood I would highly recommend doing it we can encourage each other to give back to society and help someone out and we can all do something really good together and let's wrap this video up on a very positive note that is my 22 things that I want to do while I'm 22 I feel like I need to make a follow-up video with this next year and actually like tell you what I have managed to cross off hopefully everything and I also I'm probably gonna be vlogging like a couple of those things as well as I go but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video um, give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below some things that you have been meaning to do and just haven't done yet and maybe I don't know like some of the things we have in common let's just talk about it in the comments I would be really happy to hear from you guys and I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're watching this I certainly am having a great day. Yeah, I'm gonna go and prepare for my party and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Go, 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 go,